CBA Sports presents the Nextel Halftime Report. Nextel, bringing you wireless solutions. A big Buffalo rally down 14-3 to take the lead at halftime. Jim Nance on the Nextel Halftime Report with Dan Dion and Boomer and Ricky Williams was just a blaze early. But back come Bledsoe and the Bills. Well, Bledsoe comes back because uh, they don't take care of the ball. Ray Lucas on a fourth and four. They were going in right before the half. Uh, he gets hit, sacked, fumble. They pick it up, go down, and give uh, Buffalo an opportunity to get a touchdown. And here, early on, look at the weather in Buffalo. It's terrible. That's why I live in Florida, Dion. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> the first play of the game, Ricky Williams gets on track with a 45-yard touchdown run. Look at the blocking downfield. No one from the secondary is around. Touchdown Miami. 7 nice, nothing early. There are nice people in Buffalo, though. There are nice people in Buffalo. Okay. They were very nice to me. And there's my man, Jed Weaver. Tell a story about Jed. He scored a one-yard touchdown. And then you gotta get pressure. <laughs> you gotta get pressure on Drew Bledsoe. They get sacked him right there. Now Drew goes in for a two-yard quarterback sneak. And look at Dave, look at Dave, Dave wants that right here. He can't get the challenge flag out. Tony Wise looks like he's going for cash instead of the flag. He threw out some briefs. He gets there. it out there. And after the turnover, Drew Bledsoe. It's a peerless price in the corner of the end zone. Brock Marion gets beat on the corner route. And you see right here, Buffalo, after struggling, is right back ahead by three. We appreciate you telling us that little story about a man, man named, named Jed. 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 Poor tight end could barely keep his family yeah, fed. Yeah. <laughs> Titans and the Giants have just started the third quarter. And uh, McNair was a game-time decision. I mean, we talked like three, four minutes before kick. He got the call. He has been something else today. He is the story. And right here, he gets sacked right at the beginning of the game by Michael Strahan, the NFL's best defensive end. This led to a Matt Bryant field goal. Then on fourth and five against the win, Jeff Fisher elects to go for it. McNair finds Mason for a first down. Now, this leads to a touchdown pass that McNair throws to Mason, going against Jason Sear, and all Jason Sear on number 31 can do there is sit there and watch. And Kerry Collins, well, the guy's got to be wide open for Kerry to hit him lately, and he is. Dan Campbell, bad hamstring and all. And then right at the end of the second half, uh, second quarter, Steve McNair finds Drew Bennett one-on-one, -on -one, perfectly thrown ball right over the defender's head. This is why the Tennessee Titans are leading 14 to 10. They're also well into the third quarter at Jacksonville. The Steelers have just added a field goal. They were up 16 10 at the half. Now it's a nine point lead, and Cordell is doing it with the run in here. 75 yards rushing for Stewart, who got the starting call today. Jim, he's doing it, doing it, and doing it well. Right here, he opens up 54 yards to Plexico Burris. Boomer, you said he can't hook up with this guy, but it looks like he's hooking up with Plexico. And right here, Danny, let me tell you a story about a man named Fred Taylor, that is. <laughs> Jacksonville, Florida, in for six, 18 yards on the touch. Cordell Stewart drops back to pass, nowhere to go, nowhere to throw. What do I do, Boomer? I run. You know what? Because I can do it like that. 28 yards, 28 of his 68 yards. Steelers up 19 to 10 over the Jaguars. Little Texas T touchdown. 19 <laughs> 10 Steelers. How about the Panthers leading at Cleveland? Pete with a touchdown toss. And Dean Brown is the running back today. And that one, here's a look at Blake and Kitna. They got another shootout going. The Bengals and the Ravens. It was a 38 27 wild one a couple of weeks ago. And today it's the Bengals leading 16 14. Another high scoring affair here. Yeah, and Corey Dillon just doing what he does. He's running exceptionally well today. But John Kitna was the story, story early on. Here's his first touchdown pass to T.J. Hushman da I think. <laughs> Brian Billick not very happy, but Brian's going to be very happy here as Kitna drops back the pass. He finds Chad Williams a safety. A 98-yard interception return. Nice attempt right there by Kitna, but look at the goal number 71 for the Bengals. Trying to chase him down. Never give up. There's no, there's never any give up in any Bengal, Dion. He'll be okay. through for the rest of the game. No, I don't think so. But uh, you know what? A wild game. A lot of returns between these two teams. 16-14. The Bengals are leading, but who cares? We're going to talk a little <laughs> give up, though. But talk about nice give up. Cincinnati. Arizona. Come on, guys. Don't look to the offseason already. 35-0 at halftime. The Chiefs, including a franchise record 90-yard punt return for a touchdown by Dante Hall. Chicago over the Packers. The Bears, Miller with a touchdown pass. And their punter, Maynard, on a fake field goal. He was a holder. Throws a touchdown. The Bears leading the Packers at Lambeau. Falcons and the Vikings in a tight one. Culpepper, touchdown run, touchdown pass. And Vic with a touchdown toss to Finneran to tie the game at 14. We'll send you back to Buffalo. Good first half of action there. Thanks for being with us on the Nextel Halftime Report.